I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 266, last month of a quarter to populate a quarter. What I want to do is I have a matrix here similar to what I showed you in episode number 265. Instead of taking an aggregate of each of the months or each of the quarters and having it populate this quarter here, what if I only want to bring in the last month of the quarter and have it populate for the respective quarter? So this would I, for Q1 2018, I would expect it to be 904. For Q2 of 2018, I would expect it to be 882 or the last quarter of that or the last month of that quarter. And how do I do that? I do colon equals, and that means that everything in this matrix or all the combinations of the items and categories equals a select. And what do I want to select? Well, I want to select the monthly values months. Okay. And what is my key list? My key list, I'm going to put it on the next line. I do that by hitting control enter. My key list here is really my is really the last month of each of the quarters and and in order to get that to work I want to really say it's really month three it's month six it's month nine it's month 12 and so on and here in 2019 I think that would then be 15 uh, then this would be 18 21 etc if I were to have you know year pivoted up here across the top so how can I specify in month that I want that as my value list, kind of those index of those uh, positions, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. I can do that by simply going in here and saying hashtag uh, monthly values month. And what that does is that creates an index of where of the position of each one of these months and then I want it to pull in the uh, the last month of the quarter. And in order to get that, I simply take the quarter that I'm on. I do a hashtag quarter. And then I multiply it by a multiplier of 3. Because if I multiply this first quarter, which is going to be 1 by 3, because it's in the first position, and I multiply that by 1, it's going to bring back month 3. If I do that with month two, this is in the second position, I do two times three, it's going to bring back the sixth value in this list. If I do, again, the third position, which is Q3, and I times that by three, that's going to bring back the ninth, and so on. So once I do that, I can go ahead and I think I can hit enter here. Uh, I'm getting an error. And that's because I have a plural there and I want it to be month. So I can see that I have 904, I have 882, I have 284, I have 694, and then here is the trick for 2019. Uh, yep, I got 1506. How about period 6? Am I getting, bringing in that into Q3? 10319.4. Indeed I am. So how would I get the last month of a quarter? Uh, into my quarter to populate. I would do that using kind of this index of the position of the months and then my key list or my lookup value rather would be the quarter I'm on times a multiplier of three because there's three months to each of the quarters. That's how you do it. Uh, that's how I'd recommend it to you. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately, and uh, when, I, when I get feeling better and what invigorates me is trying to help you become a Quantrix master. It brings me energy, and then I make videos. And if you have any questions, again, reach out to me, and please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.